Hey guys, now um, with these correctives, we're gonna look at lengthening in the calves, the soleus and the gastroc, as well as hamstring lengthening. So what Tim's gonna do here, we're gonna go back to the mild fascia release with the cross ball. All right, so you wanna find some pressure points in your Achilles up to your calf where you feel some tightness, okay, you want to press down on that area and hold it. So again, we're looking for a trigger point here where you feel tightness. If it's painful, you probably got the right spot. All right, so at, once you find that, that trigger point, you can roll around in that area, um, working on breaking up um, some of that, you know, the fascia in the muscle there, uh, allowing it to lengthen so it's not so contracted all the time. All right, so you're gonna use that throughout your whole back of your leg from basically the Achilles up to the back of the knee. Um, I don't really have a number for the rolls that you want to do or how long you should hold uh, in that, that pressure down on the ball, but again, it's kind of how on feel, right? So I say always at least like 10 rolls is about a good number, but it depends on how you're feeling. You might, if it's real painful, you might want to do it a little bit longer. Okay, so we're going to do that on both sides. All right, so, um, so the next corrective that we want to do uh, is going to be um, on a, if, if you have a, a box, like it's something that you can deficit, we're going to do eccentric drop downs. All right, so you're going to start, and you can use a step if you want as well. Um, if you want to, you hold it up against a wall if that's possible for you, then you can do that just so we don't have to worry about balance too much. Okay, so we're going to work on the, the downward phase of, of a calf raise. So you're going to start up on your toes. All right, and then you're going to slowly drop your heels down, okay, until you get as far as you can go and feel that stretch in your calf. All right, so again, we're working on lengthening. All right, so we're dropping the heels down. Okay, once you get down to that downward phase where you can't go anymore, hold that for three to five seconds. Okay, and you're gonna repeat this 10 times. So you can either do it two feet, or you could do it single leg if you'd like as well, make it a little bit more challenging. Okay, so we'll show you just a single leg. Now the key here is on the eccentric or downward phase that we're going down for at least three to five seconds, all right? We don't want it to go, to go faster with this one, okay? And the third corrective we're gonna show you uh, for the uh, ankle mobility, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, for the soleus lengthening and for the hamstring lengthening is going to be a single leg, straight leg deadlift or Romanian deadlift. So what you're going to do is start with your feet together. All right, you're going to extend one hip back. All right, you're going to be very conscious that this toe is staying pointed down. All right, and it's and you're not you know having any movement in your hips. Okay. The key to doing this is that it's a hip extension, not a flexion from the, the hips. All right, so it's really an anti-flexion where we're just focusing on extension. Okay, so that back leg is going to what brings you is going to be what brings your chest forward over your opposite knee and toe. So we are getting stability in the opposite foot as well as the knee. And here we're going to get a hamstring lengthening on that stability foot, and we're going to go ahead and get our hip extension from that leg that's going back. Okay, so we want to do 10 reps on each side for about two to three sets.